Welcome back guys. In the previous lecture we started building our transpiler and implemented the first expression type, the numbers. And today we continue extending our language, uh, we'll implement strings and also blocks. Right? The blocks are a group of expressions and also as we will see in JavaScript blocks contain statements. Right? Not expressions but the statements. And the difference is the statement doesn't return a value. Uh, the statements will be separated with semicolon and this is just the JavaScript notation. Uh, but let's start from the strings. So here's our assignment from the previous lecture. We use double quotes, right? the string hello. And the same way, let's have the tester is string, in which case we should return the string between quotation. Right? We strip the quotes, slice one and negative one. Sounds good. And let's the tester itself. We test for the type of string and also check for the quotes. Okay, let's try executing. And seems it worked, but we have the incorrect type for the AST node, right? It should be string literal. Let's quickly change it. And here we got the problem again. In this case, it's coming from the JS code generation. And that's the first rule. Every time we add a new node, right, in the compiler, in the transpiler, we should add the matching node in the code generator, right? Otherwise, we will not be able to generate the code. So we need to get back to the JS code gen and add the string literal. Try again. And it works. Okay, so let's move forward and implement the blocks. And the tool which will be very helpful in this course is the AST Explorer tool located at this address. It was built by my colleague back in the days, Felix Kling, uh, and is very helpful and useful to uh, introspect different ASTs in different languages. In this case, we have JavaScript. So let's put two statements, right? The number 42 and the string hello. And as you can see, the generated AST uh, has the type program which has the body. Now the body contains not the expressions, but the expression statements. Again, the statements are separated by the semicolon in this case, right? Uh, inside each expression statement, there is actual expression. So we see the same numeric literal with the value 42 and the string literal. And let's start from the explicit block. So it will be the begin expression in our language, which contains the same two expressions. Okay, so if this is the begin expression, Right, we extract the tag and all the expressions which come after the tag. Then we go through each expression and call the gen function, right? Plain simple. Now, what should we return as the result for the block? Right, let's put the block in JavaScript, uh, and that should be block statement, which has the body. Right, we see the two expression statements moved to the body of the block. So that's exactly what we write. The return AST node is of type block statement, which has the body. And we need to collect each expression into the body. So we locate the body and push a generation of each expression statement. Sounds good. Let's try it. Right, correctly, we see we need to implement block statement in the code gen. Right, remember, each time we add a new node, we have to do a matching in the code gen. So the blocks in JavaScript uh, are wrapped in the curly braces, inside which we just render each AST node that is going through the body, map into the gen function. Okay, should be it. Let's try it. And we see the result. However, this is yet still not the JavaScript program. Uh, first of all, we see the block contains just expressions, not the expression statements. Right? They're not separated by the uh, semicolon. Uh, second, we have the bug. Hello string should be actually in the quotes. We'll fix it shortly. Uh, but first of all, let's join each expression statement with a new line and also fix the string, adding quotes. Let's try it. Okay, looks better. Now we have the string and also new line separated. Now we need to add semicolons, that is to wrap each expression into the expression statement. Uh, for this, let's introduce the function to statement, right, which is helper function. It will just wrap into expression statement if the expression is used in the block context. Right, if the same expression is used in another context, for example, when it's passed as the function parameter, we don't need to wrap it into expression statement, but uh, inside blocks we should wrap it. And for now, we handle just two expressions, numeric literal and the string literal, and wrap it into expression statement. Otherwise, just return the expression, meaning that's already a statement. For example, a block, if statement, etc. Let's try it. Okay, we added new node type, expression statement. We need to implement the code gen, which should just render the expression property of the expression statement and put semicolon at the end. All right, should be it. Let's try it. And there we go. Take a look, we have the correct AST node, expression statement, inside which we have the expressions. Uh, now, looks better, however, let's implement also the pretty printing, right? We'll put correct indentation, uh, new lines, 
etc. Right, so let's have the constructor in our JS code gen uh, and accept the indentation. Let's have two spaces, right? Store it as our property, indent itself and the current indent. And inside the block, we increase the current indent by the number of spaces, right? And decrease it once we exit the block. Uh, let's also have the helper function uh, int for indentation, which just repeats the spaces with the current indent. And then we can render it using the our helper function. Okay, indentation, and once we exit and increase, we dident, pretty much reduce the indentation. Uh, let's not forget to pass the indentation, execute, and there we go. We have nicely written code, so expression statement with expression 42 and the expression statement with expression hello. Both are inside block, both are separated with a semicolon. However, this is still not yet the full JavaScript program. Uh, as you can see at the top level, we have the top level program node, right? Not just the block. So let's introduce the program AST. And at the very top level, let's have the gen program, right? Instead of gen. And a program is just an implicit block. So we're going to reuse uh, exactly the same handling as in block. And also we'll have to wrap our program into this implicit block. The same way we go through each expression. And just instead of the uh, block statement, we return the program type also have in the body. Now let's not forget to add to the code gen, right, the program node, which is exactly will be called from our generate function. Again, going through each expression and just render each expression. Okay, should be it, let's try it. And there we go. The generated code is the same, but take a look, we see the program now, right, which inside contains the block. So congratulations, we now have fully working JavaScript program Right, which can be passed to any JavaScript code generator, right, compatible. And we also started using the AST Explorer, which again will be very helpful during this course. In the next lecture, we'll implement the parser, right, to be able to write it in actual S expression, more convenient, and we'll continue extending the language. That's it for today. Thanks and see you in the class.